Hello, welcome to Petite Concerts. This is where we are going to have musicians play a concert for you. My name is Chi Chi, and today I'm going to be your main host. We usually play live concerts at libraries, churches, synagogues, or even preschools. But today we're going to try our very first online petite concert. I hope you enjoy it. Now, if this is your first time, welcome to our petite concert family. But if you have gone to see a couple of our petite concerts before, welcome back. Now today, I'm going to be playing this guy and that guy for you. Can you tell the difference between these two instruments? Yes. One of them is a little bigger than the other one. This is my violin. This is my viola. The difference is the violin has a higher voice. He can go as high as like something like this. Very cool, isn't it? Now my viola has a lower voice, like this. Very nice, yes? All right, so today we are going to play this program for you. Now, when you go to concerts, you usually get a program. This is our petite concert program, where you see pictures and words to tell you what the musicians will be playing. And the bottom here tells you a little bit about the musician that is performing for you. Are you ready for today's concert? All right, tell me what you see on that very first box. Yes, alphabets. What does that mean? Perhaps we're gonna be playing the ABC song for you. Do you know that song? Good. Now, today I have a guest with me and she is going to play with me while you sing. Hi, everybody. This is my daughter, Maya. Maya is gonna play the violin while I'll play with her on the viola. Are you ready for the ABC song? We are ready, set, Enjoy the playing? I hope so. Now, we're gonna see if you can actually sing the song faster. What do you think, Maya? I think they can do it. Cool, let's try it. A little faster, guys. Let's see how good you can sing your ABCs. Ready, set, and. What do you see in picture number two? This one right here. Do you see people dancing? Yay, very good. 
All right, my next guest is actually someone that plays all the petite concerts nowadays for me in New York and Connecticut. And she is a dear, dear friend. Please welcome Miss Chie. Hi, Chi Chi. Hi, everyone. I'm going to play Minuet by Bach. And I'm going to play with her. How was that little duet with Miss Chie? Did you enjoy that? I hope so. Now, for our next piece, what do you see in this box? Box number three. What are those little things? What do you think they are? You're right. They're music notes. When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. That's right. I hope you will sing with us. for our next song. Let's take a look at our program. What do you see over there? That's a very nice flower, isn't it? Yeah, and for this one, I'm going to need another instrument to help Hi. me out with. Here I am, and look at here. That's right. Like I said, I have a different instrument for this one. Okay, the reason for it is because this song is actually a Chinese folk song. It's called Jasmine Flower, Mo Li Hua. Now, this is my Chinese violin. His Chinese name is Er Hu. Can you say Er Hu? Good. All right. The reason why it's Er Hu, Er in Chinese means two because I have only two strings. Now, do you remember how many strings I have over there with my viola? That's right, four strings. We both have a body. He has a nice little body, like a sound box. This one, because it's small and narrow, it actually makes more like a nasal sound. You'll hear it in a minute. Now also, I'm gonna come a little closer to show you what's on the front of my instrument. Can you tell what that is? Mm-hmm, correct, snake skin. Next time you come to a petite concert, I'm gonna let you try and touch it. All right, are you ready for our 
Jasmine Flower Song. I hope you enjoy it. What do you think? It's a different sound, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we're getting back to our next song. Take a look at what we got here. And I'll be right back. Here we are. Song number five. Mm-hmm. Lots of farm animals, which means we're doing all McDonald's. Yay. All right, let's see. Oh, what should we sing about? Cow, very nice, nice and loud, and reason why we use that picture is because the next song is called the surprise symphony by mr. Hyten now mr. Hyten rolled hmm, over a hundred many many symphonies and when one night when he went to hear one of his concerts he realized ha huh, people are sleeping in his concerts so he decided I am going to surprise them. Let's see if you find a surprise in this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> That's right. Was it a nice surprise? Are you ready for our next song? Look at what's in this picture here. That's right. Mommy singing to a baby. It's a lullaby. But this one is very special. This is going to be a, an Irish lullaby. And I'm going to have my friend from New York to have her family sing this one for you. Be right back. Hi, Chi Chi. Hi, everyone. My name is Amy, and these are my daughters, Kit, Colette, Bill, Maggie. We would love to sing a song for you in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we are going to sing a song for you from Killarney, County Kerry, and it goes by many names. Its official name is the Irish Lullaby, but some of you may know it as over in Killarney, and some know it as Tura Lura Lura. So feel free to sing along with us. some lovely lovely singing I know I really really enjoy that all right are you ready for our next song here we are what do you see in this box right here yeah hopefully spring is coming those flowers and the little bumblebee I really really hope to see them soon all right this song that we are about to play is called Spring, and it's from The Four Seasons, written by Mr. Vivaldi. 
I hope you enjoy it. Did you hear the nice spring? Maybe little birds singing? I hope so. All right, are you ready for our next song? Let's see, what do we have here in this box? Huh, more people dancing. That's right, and this one is called the Pizzicato Polka. That's right, and I won't even need this thing here for this piece. Now, pizzicato is a fancy term in music for plucking the string. So I would only be plucking with my fingers. Are you ready for pizzicato polka? A polka is a dance, so obviously you should stand up and dance with me. Ready? dancing. How do you like the plucking sound coming out of the violin this time? I bet you really enjoy that. And maybe one day you can come and pluck my strings at one of our concerts. All right, here we are. Song number 10. What do you see here? That's right, the sun. This happened to be one of my favorite songs. Do you know how to sing, You Are My Sunshine? Of course you do. I'm sure you've heard it many times. Well, here's my guest artist one more time. And she has a different instrument this time. Hi everybody. This is my friend. His name is Ukulele. Can you say Ukulele? Very nice. All right, are you ready, Maya?
everybody. Hi. Are you ready for the very last song of today's concert? Right here. Now, what do you see in this very last box? Is this nighttime or daytime? Nighttime, correct. What about this guy? What is he doing? Yes, he is conducting music. Very good. Well, this very last song happened to be a song called A Little Night Music. I do think it's more like a party music. You see what I mean when I play it for you. And this is a song by Mr. Mozart. So I hope you stand up and dance with us with this night party music. Ready? concert today. Now, if mommy and daddy happen to be on Facebook, please ask them to come and give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, I really hope to see you at our next concert, whether it's online or hopefully, really, really hopefully in person. At the very end, I just want to say a special, special thank you to two libraries that has supported Petite Concert for many, many, many years. One is the Scarsdale Public Library in New York, and the other one is the Greenwich Public Library in Connecticut. Thank you so much for supporting Petite Concerts and for having us at your libraries, and we hope to see you again real, real soon. Bye.